So with that, Chair, you're done. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Karen, yeah, can I just uh, maybe maybe set it on before I, I speak? Um, I'm actually supposed to be on the Constitutions and Investigations Committee, but this is not that more serious than the three ring circus that we're going on in there today. And unfortunately, what's going on here isn't going to get the coverage it probably should get. I was born in 1959, Don, and I take it back a lot longer. 1964. My first memory would be on the radio, Sonny listed in Cash's Fair Fight. From when I can remember, my father was a tug and a bully. I'm not articulate sure on my, on my mother, who's still alive, and my brothers and sisters are going to react today. But, 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 but I've heard, what has changed from 1964 to now? Nothing. Right? You made a great point. A cat, and I wouldn't have done this, Sonny. You kind of put the challenge out. Children grow up. Right? And I'm 54 now, but I remember that, right? And I never forgot it. My first thing in my mind was to be Liam. And I got big enough at 16 to be able to do that. I left the house in 76, but I believe it, it continued. He was getting older, so he wasn't able to do that after that. But I think the first person where we got no protection were the guards. And they couldn't give us protection. I didn't know that. We locked one of them out of the house when he was 16. And we did it. when I was 16, effectively 17, we dealt with the situation myself my sister, who was 15. I believe that the first people who witnessed, and it be very clear here, I don't know how the treatment and the reform works after the event or so many years down the road. What's perpetrated at the time is an absolute assault, right? And it is a criminal act, and you're 100% right, and we need to treat it as a criminal act, and that's what we need to do. I've seen its cases over the last couple of years. One guy actually took a house apart. Where the guard comes to the house, he should then be investigating a crime, because it is a crime then. It doesn't become a crime after. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to empower the guard to take his statement then, give his own version as a witness statement, photograph the scene of the crime, and by Jesus, I've seen one or two of them, and I witnessed it in my own house, right, at the time. And if, if the, the, the victim is willing for that, she, he, or the children, or whoever the case may be, should be photographed at that stage as well, and the doctor should be called immediately then. That's when you set the bar. And I don't want to go along with where are we going to house the woman that has to leave the house with the children. The criminal is the guy that should be taken out of the house, or down the woman is the case, maybe, because it has happened in, the, in that event as well. We need to remove the criminal from, from the house. And then we'd solve a lot of the housing problems. And if a lot of these people knew that there was going to be a criminal charge on, on foot of their actions, we might eliminate 50 or 60 per cent of those before they start at all. Now, there was a number of issues. That one of the huge issues with the councils is if you're the joint owner of the family home, so you can't get on the house because you own the house. So those are huge challenges for us. But I think where we should focus in on is the first responders initially and make a criminal offence initially out of this. And I hope to God in my time, it, 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 I had never intended this. I don't know as I said, my brothers and sisters and whatever else are going to think about this today. But I had never intended on making a, a kind of a public statement and, and what we needed to do. And I believe that it's a criminal act. We need to deal with the criminal act first. And you know, if somebody says to me, can we give you another 100 million? Sure, look, we can't. Realistically, we don't have that. But at least if we could deal with the assault and the criminal act first up and, and, and deal with that, let's try and deal with some of the other issues after that. I don't see any reason, by the way, please, Commissioner, guards come to my house at one or two in the morning, that if they came to my house and said, Tony, you've got to have to witness the crime up the road, but you sign an order here, I don't see any reason why, as a peace commissioner, a commissioner for us, that we couldn't do that. I don't see any reason why community courts couldn't deal with this situation. You know, maybe we could look at that. But a peace commissioner or a commissioner for us could certainly sign this. We don't have to go looking for a judge. And believe you me, the guardian at the front of people witnessing this, and I, unlike what's gone on in there, I would trust 99.99% of them implicitly, and they would not come to me unless the case warranted that. And that's where we need to go. And I do all of my power here. I'm not just making this statement, a flowery statement. I'd certainly engage with uh, Marcel and um, Anne on that, and, you know, being the, the raconteurs in this committee, and feed in as much as I can. But my personal belief is, let's deal with the criminal acts and take it from there. Let's give for a powerful presentation there, Senator. Thank you. Uh, I don't think there's any response that any of us can give to that. That speaks for itself. Thank you very much. I, I want this.